My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Uh, I guess I don't look half as bad as I feel today. It's the light. Some days I just look way worse than others. Um, I woke up this morning. I wake up so angry sometimes. Oh, because Petra's angry. That makes me angry. And then, you know, the hot and the cold, they're cooking me. And then I'm freezing, and then I'm cooking, and then I'm, you know, complaining about everything. Uh, and I was thinking about this, you know, and I realized, like, I spend, you know, two-thirds of my life in bed, fucking moaning and, and sick and puking and headaches and pain and zapping and mind control and kill yourself, Timothy, blah, 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 and, you know, on and 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 on. And yes, one day I will drop dead from this. My body will no longer function from the whatever they've done to me. You know, I keep wondering about this this crap that I have. This this. You know, my face is changing shape. I look like a banana head now sometimes. Whereas I didn't used to look like a banana head. Uh, my chin is more jutting forward now. My nose has elongate, elongated somewhat. My nostrils are no longer round. They're, they're changing shape. And, and, and my nose is sort of bending. I didn't look like this before. One eye is bigger than the other. And these plates on my skull seem to be, uh, you know... <laughs> And you know what I think it is? Now, I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe it's just the Morgellons eating up the, the connective tissues and the keratin and the whatever inside of me. Maybe it's uh, the result of the electromagnetic scalar radiation. Uh, I have two theories on this, and they're kind of wacky. So, one of them is scientific, and the other one is... Um, since we know that DNA genetics create a bio-scalar uh, electromagnetic, well, it's not electromagnetic, but it's scalar in nature, a bio a field around us that contains the genetic information somehow, and supposedly this information is connected on a multi-dimensional level, and that the genetics are the... I don't know, the computer, the part that, that defines it, but whether the genetics, the physical genetics are defined by this field, or whether this field is defined by the physical genetics, I, I, I don't know. And they say this field is many la la several layers deep, and whatever, and, and it's this biomorphic uh, copy, resonant copy, uh, scalar resonant copy of your DNA. And the DNA supposedly contains all this information uh, about you and your experiences, your soul, your past lives, I don't know, could all be in there. And the extra dimensional, the other dimensional part of this, the connection to this is maybe what goes on after we die, just a theory. So it's possible that this mind control beaming stuff is messing with that field in a way that is completely, you know, or if it's not the Morgellons eating me, if it's not the biomorphic mind control field, I got one more, the genetic uh, transmutation, the genetic mutation, the biogenesis, the stuff that they put into us and to have the Morgellons function, you had to do some gene therapy, to uh, have all these creatures come out, you had to put all these instruction sets in there, and, you know, who knows what uh, 
what they've lopped on and changed in our genetics, you know? I mean, I, I don't know. Now, for me, I noticed this stuff starting when I was about 14 or so. And I had this theory that maybe they cut me open as an infant. Oh, one other theory, that I died in a past life uh, in war and, you know, got my head blown half open and, and that's the... the biomorphic resonant you know uh, because there are stories of children people who are born in this world and they remember their past life they remember their injuries how they died they remember all the people and they go back and the people remember them and da -da -da -da. it's one of these things so uh, I don't know that's my theory I, I have these terrible panic attacks horrible panic attacks uh, the reason I'm sitting here half naked is because I was trying to post something on Google Plus and I guess the mind controllers didn't like what I had to say so they gave me the, the, the you know, they pushed the button and the, they cook you, heats you up. Look at how skinny I am. My God. Anyway, um, you know, you get all cooked and hot, hot. And my belief is they're bombarding you with some kind of subatomic particles to energize the, uh, whatever, the, the, the electrons or something in the subatomic particles that's spinning around so they jump to the next, uh, next energetic level. You know, I'm just on this, the, the top layer. It could be many layers, you know, down to the subatomic data. I don't know what's in there. Uh, but, you know, energizing it, and then as it relaxes, as the energy comes out of it, it drops back down to the other state, it releases photons, by photons, and scalar energy, da 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 and that's all red in biometric data uh, about, that's my theory, I don't know. Uh, panic attacks, yes, horrible panic attacks. Fear that is so debilitating, I, 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 I can't function. And I was never like this, you know. I was this guy who... <sighs> Let me put it this way. I had no fear to pack my stuff in the bag and leave home when I was a child, you know. Uh, leave home when I was a teenager and not come back. As hard as that was, as sad as that is, um, you know, come what may, make my way in the world, uh, you know, now I, I can barely even uh, make my way down the street at times, and again, the medication, you know, as much as I hate taking addictive medications and smoking cigarettes and all the other crap that I do that's not good for my body. I am suffering so horribly at times, you know, and it may just be one of these things that, yeah, you take the medication, it makes you feel better, and then you feel worse, and you got to take more medication, it makes you feel better, and then you feel worse. I, I get this. I get it. However, my best moment at times was so... You know, crying and, and shaking and, and panic attacks that, that you, you, know, you can't see and you think your heart, you think you're dying. It feels like you're dying. And you know, I guess once you learn that it's just a panic attack, uh, it's not so bad. Then, you know, but, oh, and then there's the mind, you know, my mind is like... Uh, the whole Swiss cheese I can't remember uh, many times I can't remember what I'm thinking or I can't think in higher you know multi-level uh, many step remove thinking you know, the thinking that I was used to doing that would explode everything and look at all the permutations and go down each thread, follow each thread to its inevitable conclusion and then put it back together and, you know, uh, that's the way I used to think. Now, well, I don't know what I do now. I spend a lot of time thinking about all the bad stuff that can happen and I don't know, 
here's another weird thing. Yes, it's mental illness. Well, whatever it is, it really does feel like there's another entity inside of me that is not me. Yeah, right? It says things that I don't think. It says things that I don't feel. It gets things wrong, you know, like when you remember stuff. I hope it's hair falling out too. Uh, you know, it doesn't always remember things. And frequently, it's cruel, vicious, mean. And I don't recognize it as myself. It tries to trick me into thinking that it is, I, I am it. And you never know which, you know, it's very strange, it's just like, I, I don't know how to explain it other than that. Um, and when I catch it, you know, uh, sometimes you catch it and it's like, hey, wait a minute now, what are you doing, who are you? And you have to be kind of firm and like, no, it's not who I am. It's not, uh, you know, and I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's just some fractured personality profile or, or if, uh, you know, it's the mind control entity, it's the, the parasitic ego thing that we all live with, you know, I think being a human being is a lot stranger than we think, and we're being, what's the matter, honey, oh, Max wants to go into the other room and play, and, uh, he gets very unhappy, he's lucky we have another room, we're lucky to have a room, that's the thing that terrifies me, is these people have been screwing us around for so long. Alright, I've talked for 12 minutes. That's enough. Thanks for watching. God bless you.